What's the biggest mistake you see women make in relationships? Trying to fix or build a man. Trying to fix or build a man. Not understanding that that's not your job. You have to you have to fall in love with the person that they are first. You can't fall in love with potential because then you're creating false narratives for yourself. And then when it doesn't happen the way that you thought it would go, then you start retracting. You start kind of like, oh, I can't, I don't think I could ever do this anymore. And I think we try to, um, like when I said my toxic trait about being, you know, psychoanalyzing and mm -hmm. kind of being that, you know, advice giver for, you know, the person I'm talking to or whatever the case is. I think we fall um, short sometimes because we're always trying to. Yeah, we're natural nurturers. Yeah, We are as women. You know, we give birth. We give life. That's that. That's true. For sure. But that is not your job to be trying to fix or build a grown man. Yeah. That is not your job. And I think that is like one of the biggest things that I see that I've done myself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that I've done myself trying to do that. You you can't. Mm -mm. God had to tell me and sit me down and say, hey, this that's my job. You're trying to do my job, trying to help and do all of that. But now you're doing it in a way that you're turning into his mama and not. A person of interest or not you know his 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 ultimate you know ultimately his spouse you're not turning into that you're literally kind of doing everything for him in a way that may take his leadership from him that's kind of stripping him of the natural leadership that he already has that god just awakens in you because i do believe in roles mm. i believe in roles so i'm gonna say that yeah <laughs> But yeah, that's that's ultimately like the biggest thing I see now. Yeah. In women. Yeah. That's good. That's good stuff. Who makes a better spouse? Someone never married or someone divorced? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to be real cut? Okay, I'm gonna be real uncut. All right. So honestly, oh, I think I would say that it is okay for a never married person to know a little bit more. Now. In society, we believe that because people have been married before and then divorced, they have a better experience. Mm -hmm. But you have to recognize that that could have been a bad marriage. That could have been a person that might have not been their spouse, but they made them their spouse, mm -hmm. meaning that they created them into something that God said that they weren't. So you have to, I don't believe in the whole thing. If you're single, you don't know about marriage. Mm -hmm. If I learn from, if I, if, you know, reading my word and, you know, talking with God, having a relationship with him, mm -hmm. he gives us the wisdom that we need mm -hmm. in order to gain um, insight into what a marriage should look like, into what we should be as, you know, as women, as helpmates, into what the man should be as the provider, the coverer, the, the protector. Mm -hmm. He kind of gives us a blueprint. You know, the word I always say is a blueprint for your life and how you can live it and how you can maintain. And somebody that's never married. Yeah, they they, you know, just if they have a relationship with God. Mm -hmm. Yes, they can know about marriage. Mm -hmm. um, I've dated divorced men before. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying all of them are like this. So I'm going to just put that disclaimer <laughs> out there. Yeah. <laughs> But the ones I've dated and even the ones I've had sessions with mm. um, to kind of help them um, mentally wise, they are damaged and broken. They had to grieve because you don't have to lose them physically um, in death in order to have grief. Mm -hmm. That's a grieving stage that they have to go through. Mm -hmm. um, I don't feel like, you know, I can't see how people can just you know, hop, get out of one and just hop into another. Mm -hmm. um, because if you're truly with that person, if your heart was truly with that person, um, then they leave this kind of imprint, this kind of stamp that you have to kind of reprogram and rewire yeah. for a new person to be able to love you, to be able to have a capacity to love. Mm -hmm. um, and me dating divorced men, most of them um, didn't have, they, they would have a, um, a lack of something. Right. That they 
didn't receive in their marriage and then ultimately because of their differences and because they just ultimately said no, then they, you know, ended their marriage and then they get to me. Okay. I've never been married before. Mm -hmm. And so the, the love bombing can happen mm -hmm. because it's like, oh, I need to, because, you know, it's, it's just this breath, breath of fresh air mm -hmm. um, that can happen. And I, I feel like divorced people are very, um, they're broken. Yeah. This, you know, I don't care how long it was. Mm -hmm. year two years you will still have a little bit to take with you so you have to handle that properly and very carefully to make sure that you are ready to mm -hmm. some because sometimes you can um not recognize the love that can be given to you through that refreshing person yep. that you newly started dating because of the scars that were put on you from your previous marriage so honestly I'm not going to say both one of them makes either or mm -hmm. I think it's all about um, having a relationship with God, gaining that wisdom from him so that he can kind of guide you into what that should be, because I don't have to be married in order to know how to be married. Mm -hmm. Those are those are not the they, they don't go in, in. They don't really just intertwine with each other mm -hmm. like that, mm -hmm. because if I know um, how if I have a good heart posture. If I know how to love, if I know how to be gentle, if I know how to care, if I know how to um, sustain, if I know how to protect, if I know how to be a pillar, if I know all of these things, mm -hmm. you can be with someone else. If I know mm -hmm. how to share with others, because it's very hard when you're getting married to somebody else, you're literally kind of splitting your life into two and le letting that other person's life intertwine with yours. Y'all are becoming one. Oh yeah. So it's not that you have to be married in order to know how to be, because you can have a bad marriage and a good marriage. Mm -hmm. If you have a bad marriage, sweetheart, you, maybe you wouldn't learn enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you didn't, maybe you didn't learn or you need to take time to learn what you're learning or, or learn your wants and desires healed, your healed wants and desires. Mm -hmm. I feel like if you take the time to heal, then you can know, but being never married, never been in, you know, e even in that type of entanglement, even trying to do all of that, I'm going to say that I wasn't, mm -hmm. I still can know that I'm a wife. Mm -hmm. I still can know that I am going, I'm not a girlfriend. Yeah. It, it don't run for me. I I I don't, I don't know how to do that. It's <laughs> it's because I'm automatically wanting to be um, giving and loving and nurturing and and being that safe space and wanting you to be vulnerable. So I'm doing everything I can to 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 love you in the capacity that you need to be loved. So I don't feel like because I'm never married, I don't know about it. Because marriage is give and take. Marriage is compromise. Mm -hmm. If you learn those principles, if you learn how to communicate. Because you can still be married and not know how to communicate. That's right. Then you are able to have at least the foundation mm -hmm. in order to be able to walk into that. Yeah. But yeah, I don't. I don't feel like it's a. Di I feel like it's a difference, but yeah. I don't feel like one is more than the other because it literally depends mm -hmm. on where their foundation is, where their walk is, where their mind is, mm -hmm. where their heart is. It's so many things that come into play with marriage and knowing truly what that means. Yeah. Oh, for sure. For mm -hmm. sure. Next question. What's harder for you to say? Is it A, I apologize, B, I need help, C, I love you, or D, I was wrong? Ooh, okay. Uh, 